Hey there. Imagine seeing you here. I just answered an ad in the paper and it said, do you want to get up in the world and see places? And I was like, yeah, who wouldn't want to? And then it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here because um, we discovered that right here in our yard is a mushroom. This is a very young heresium. This is a lion's mane, which is extremely edible and very sought after. It's considered to be a delicious, extraordinary mushroom. And it's pretty smooth right now, which means it's young. And um, it's going to eventually start to get a little bit more, um, I'm going to say hairy, but it, it, these twos kind of hang down, kind of like a lion's mane. But this is really the time when we want to collect it. So I'm going to collect this here eventually. I may, I may wait till tomorrow. But important, it's not hard. It's, it's firm, but it's spongy. And it's great. Um, just as a footnote, I'll say this as I always do. I am not a mushroom expert. There's no way that you should um, just see a mushroom out in the field because you watch my video and go, oh, that's it, because, you know, Richard said that's what it is. You need to positively ID mushrooms. Mushrooms can be very dangerous, and they can also be very, very wonderful. So, before we end this, uh, I'm going to come down off this ladder, and I'm going to let Stacy tell you about the medicinal aspects of this wonderful find today. Okay, stay tuned. So we decided to harvest this mushroom after consulting with some mushroom expert friends of ours who said to be sure to collect it while it's young before it starts to discolor. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the medicinal benefits of this mushroom. Now lion's mane really stands apart because most of the mushrooms that we use for medicine are immune system modulators and this one has an affinity for the neurological system and it actually improves cognitive function and studies have shown that it helps stimulate nerve growth factors so it is really good for the brain and the nervous system and that really sets this mushroom apart from the others. As with most other mushrooms, you can decoct this mushroom, which is simmering it for a period of time, usually about 30 minutes in hot water, and drink it as a tea. And you can also make a tincture from this. And ideally, with mushrooms, you want a combination of both to get the benefits of both the alcohol and water-soluble properties. So we're really excited about trying this mushroom out and we look forward to trying it as a food as well because it's supposed to be really delicious. So overall a very exciting find today. Now that's that's going to wrap it up for this edition of A Forager's Life. Now if, if you'd like to see more of our videos please hit the subscribe button down below, share widely with your friends, and also visit us at www.lovetheearth.com and we will keep sharing this information with you. Thanks for watching.